What's up everybody, it's the Gaming Goblin. Welcome back. We're gonna be doing a part two video for Pokemon Silver Complete in Box unboxing. Um, I actually realized whenever I recorded the first video, I never actually showed the game uh, being booted up on a Game Boy. So I've got my Game Boy here today and uh, let's check it out. So if you wanna see the full video, definitely recommend checking out the part one. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description here, but this is a complete inbox copy of Pokemon Silver in all its glory. So let's take it out real quick. We're not gonna go over the details this time um, since we did that in the first video, but let's take a peek. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so. But yeah, you guys really seem to enjoy part one of the video, so I'm definitely gonna be doing some more unboxing videos. I got a few games in my collection that'd be worth showcasing, doing unboxings for. So here we have the game itself the little box it came in, the, the player's guide. We've got um, the Nintendo Power offering, and of course the seizure warning. Oh, and we got a uh, little, little thing showcasing all the stuff that you can get for the Nintendo 64, all the little attachments and different games that you can buy. So let's, uh, let's boot her up and take a peek. So this is a uh, custom Game Boy Color that I made. Um, I took the innards of an old Game Boy Color and I put a new shell on it. You can order these on eBay, it comes with all the accessories you need. This actually has a backlight and it also has um, a cool little plate. You can see it's got all the Johto Pokemon and Pikachu on there as well. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not perfect. As you can see the screen's kinda um, at an angle there, but uh, let's check it out. Let's see what kind of file the previous owner had. Player Silver, time zero. Okay, so I guess they literally just started the game. So here we are. <laughs> so they probably just whipped up a quick file just to check and see if, um, you know, the game was actually working. Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted to do something for him. <laughs> so the game works. There wasn't any uh, notification about a uh, battery alert. I know that's one big risk with these old GBA games, especially this one since it had the day-night cycle and the timing mechanic. Um, is the internal battery working just to make sure the clock is right and everything like that. Uh, but this seems to be in pretty good condition. The backlight is very, very helpful on this as well. I remember, you know, as a kid playing Game Boy Color, you kind of had to use daylight or a lamp, or uh, it was really difficult to play in the car. But thankfully, with modern amenities, we can make a nice custom Game Boy Color like this. And I've never actually made one of these before. As you can see, the, the seam is a little bit cracked here. Um, but it's, it's a pretty good quality product, and I kind of like learned as I went um, about how to do it. But I recommend, you know, if you want to try to play this on authentic hardware, look into eBay or Amazon. They have all these little custom kits you can buy um, and give you all the, th all the things you need to make a pretty good um, custom Game Boy. And you could probably customize it with all kinds of stickers or get like a cool, cool plate. I don't even know if they actually sold a Game Boy Color in like this hot pink before, but uh, it's nice. It's nice that uh, we're able to do stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's gonna be the part two video here of Pokemon Silver Complete in Box. Um, I will be probably doing a Let's Play or stream of this game at some point. I got a lot of videos on the backlog right now, so it might not be for a while. But yeah, let me know what you guys think if you wanna see more of these videos. I've got plenty to showcase in my collection, um, some cool stuff that we could do unboxings for, like little breakdowns of some old or weird games, um, some stuff with really cool box art, and the uh, best part is accessories too. I got a few games with some nice accessories that come in the box. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I really do appreciate all the support you guys gave part one, um, and I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving the Gaming Goblin channel in general. Um, it means a lot to me. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.